Wow, it's been a, it's been a while. What's up, everybody? All 73 of you. I am Jack Kwan of My Spaz 13 Productions. And this video has talked about where I've been. Now, it's been like a really long time since I've uploaded a video and I kind of got out of the rhythm of just uploading videos and like doing this whole in front of the camera thing. So I've kind of turned like a little bit of camera shy. So bear with me. So I guess let's just jump right into it. So start off with like, you know, where I've been. So when I first started doing YouTube, I was like uploading uh, consecutively just doing tons of videos and just like you know being consistent with what I was trying to do and then all of a sudden you know I dropped out of out of nowhere and was gone for like two years and you know thinking and looking back on it I didn't realize you know how even though it was just I had a little bit of subscribers and I had a, a little bit of a view like you know viewership and you know it kind of got bigger over time I didn't realize how important it is to let you know the people who are like really supporting you in the way of just watching your videos know what happened and so you know there was two times where I you know just vanished out of nowhere so the first time was actually you know pretty you know, good it was actually a good thing that was happening so basically what ended up happening I was I went and served a, a mission. I did missionary work for my church for two years where I went out to, to California and I, I had learned to speak Cambodian and like did a whole bunch of Cambodian like community service where I taught English and you know just did citizenship and then also like just did a whole bunch of humanitarian stuff. And it was like a fun experience, super spiritual. It just helped me a lot, like just organize my brain and just get things just, you know, really running and figuring out what I wanted to do and like what my calling in life was. And so with that being said, I ended up just, you know, just going into that. And, you know, when I came home from that mission, I was like just wondering, you know, what was I going to do? Because before my mission, I didn't really have like a super set thing on what I wanted to, to do with my life. I just wanted it to be like an animator or a game designer. But then I also realized once I, I got into this, this missionary work situation that I really didn't have like, like a, a full understanding of what I wanted to do. I know I just wanted to help a lot of people. And so with that you know, being said, I, I realized that I could just do a whole bunch of things. And so I just started getting really, really busy with like doing humanitarian work and just doing a whole bunch of other stuff. Like in my mind, still keeping the whole want of doing YouTube, but I just kept getting busy. And also on top of that, I was applying to colleges and going, getting ready to go to college. And just like what I wanted to do. And so, Eventually, I did end up getting accepted into a college in Utah, and so I, I'm from Richmond, Virginia, and so I ended up picking up moving away from home and going to Utah, and so that was another thing where I had to just get settled in and just like figure out what I wanted to do with life and through that, and so I just started going to school, and you know, college is no joke. I just got slammed with tons and tons and tons of like schoolwork, homework, and then also I had to get a job so I can like, you know, support myself out here. And so with that being said, you know, I, I got into that situation and that was really good. I was like really like, you know, making moves as they say and just, you know, becoming independent and doing things. But then on top of that, I kept doing like humanitarian work and just like all these different types of, you know, things and just like dedicating myself to like projects and just doing things like that and so so that's the, originally the r real reason why i had stopped doing youtube for the first time was because you know going on the mission and then i came back and when i came back i had uploaded a video and it was a, a music video reaction and so you know that that went well obviously and um just noticing how dark I am on this thing, but 
I don't always know sound right. But anyways, so I I um so I uploaded a video and then all of a sudden I, I didn't upload any more videos. And so the second reason is actually split between being good and then also something just that was personal with me. And so uh, so first the, the good reasons were like I had mentioned, I had started school, just moved to Utah, did all those things that I needed to do in order to just, you know, really focus on just building myself up and figuring out what my calling and my career was going to be in my in life. And so I started just working on projects. I started helping people with like videos and like editing videos and doing other things. I like even tried to like, you know, be in like commercials and all that stuff out here. But with that, I just, you know, realized the those like important, you know, things in life. And so I just got slammed with tons tons and tons of stuff. And during that whole whole time, I still had the want to do YouTube videos because I really, you know, like making YouTube videos. I don't know if I'm like the funniest person out there or if I'm like doing anything that's like worth people watching, but I love making YouTube videos and I just wanted to to just make them and just get a point of across because that's originally why I started making YouTube videos. Now with that being said, I had tried to upload like videos, but I didn't realize how crazy strict the K-pop YouTubing scene had gotten since I got back from my mission. And then, so with that being said, that even though I try to keep uploading YouTube videos, um, this is kind of like the, the more personal part for me. I started realizing that I was kind of like straying away from what I really wanted to do when I did the idea of coming up and doing YouTube. So originally I had planned to make a, a YouTube video or YouTube channel and like do YouTubing in 2012 and that didn't work out because I kept making these videos I kept looking at these videos and I kept realizing that I wasn't like doing like good videos or at the time I thought I wasn't making good videos and one thing that I realized is that um, I started trying to compare myself to like YouTubing channels and that weren't mine and I was trying to like figure out how could I be just like those channels and all that stuff like that and trying to like rise to that level of you know YouTubing channels which nothing's wrong with that it's just I got too caught up into it you know when I was making the videos I was starting to realize and starting to think to myself like man like I'm not getting a lot of views on these videos a lot of people are not liking these videos and you know I guess viewership kind of got to my head and that's not a, what I originally wanted to do with YouTube I wanted to do YouTube so I could find people out there who agreed with my type of you know thought process and what I felt was necessary and um, people that I could talk to and people I could like you know interact with. That's why a lot of times when people commented on my videos, I would respond to them because, you know, I just really want to just get discussions going. And I felt myself going away from that. So with that being said, just to kind of you know, wrap this up, is I realized I needed to return to that and I needed to get that energy that I really wanted to. Now I'm fully aware of the scene with YouTubing and K-pop right now. I'm fully aware of what CJ Entertainment is up to. And so my thing isn't that I'm going to just quit making YouTube videos of on, on K-pop. I'm still gonna be talking a lot about K-pop, but then I realized that I wasn't utilizing my knowledge of just Korean and Japanese culture and just entertainment and everything about that or just all my other talents. And I realized that I should devote a lot of time to that as well. So this channel, even though it's gonna still be making like Korean and Japanese vlogging and commentary videos. I think I'm gonna start not just only just doing K-pop and J-pop and stuff like that or just the music, but I'm gonna like expand even wider. Maybe like I'm gonna probably start doing anime or like talking about like just Korean food or Korean culture, Japanese food, Japanese culture, you know, things in general and just other stuff that just interests me. Originally I started this channel for the reason of talking about pop culture and I feel like 
that's what I got away from and that's what I should go back to or that's what I should go into fully. But obviously, I want your guys' opinions because you guys are the ones that really fuel YouTubers to make good content. So what would you guys like me to do? What would you like to see? You can just leave those like answers and those comments in the comment section down below. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this upcoming I guess journey on YouTube again and, and seeing what's going to happen with it. But as usual guys, like I've said before, you can check me out on Instagram at JackSpaz, J-A-C-S-P-A-Z-Z, -Z. wow, I almost forgot my, my tag. And you can check me out at on Twitter at Jardley G. Gosh, I'm not good at this anymore. I used to be super fast with this, but also my Tumblr blog spot at www.myspaz13productions.tumblr.com. And yes, guys, as usual, thank you guys for watching this video. Not trying to make it any more longer, but more videos to come for sure. This has been your boy Jack Wangarley signing off saying, everyone, have a blessed day and have a blessed life.